Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the mini verb. It's the stereo reverb build that I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. It's based around the Daisy Seed MCU that Electrosmith sent me a couple of months ago, along with some other stuff like the Daisy Patch in it and the Daisy Patch submodule. But for this one, I only use the Daisy Seed. It's their most basic and cheapest platform. You can program it in a couple of different ways, C++, Arduino, or even pure data. For my project though, I decided to program it using Arduino because that's what I'm already familiar with. I used the Daisy Duino library which contains a lot of synth and audio effects tools. For this one, I used the Reverb SC class. For those of you who are interested, here's my schematic for this project. I will also add a link to my Arduino code in the description. The breadboard prototype sounded great so I was pretty excited to release it as a PCB project. As always, PCBWay helped me out with the printing of these boards. This was my first time trying out their aluminum PCBs for the front panel. They feel sturdier than the fiberglass ones but not that far off. The fonts appear a bit crisper though. For this one, I only sent them the front layers from my Gerber files so the back is just bare aluminum. One thing you'll lose though is the ability to do translucent parts in the boards like I did in my mini VCF build. With this one, I used fiberglass. Overall, I'm pretty happy about how this turned out. My goal for this project was to create a simple through-hole module that would let me test out builds on the Daisy Seed. These controls are programmable so I should be able to use the same boards for other effects later. I gave this version 5 controls, wet, dry, feedback, brightness, and mod. I used the mod knob to add a jitter effect to the reverb output. One issue though, I made a mistake on the schematic that connected the pots to the wrong pins on the daisy. I was able to fix this by cutting some traces with the knife, and then soldering some wires to hook up the correct pins. It looks ugly but it works. I made the changes to the PCBs and have already sent my files to PCBWay for the next revision. I'll make sure to share some updates once I have verified that the new revision works. I'm also designing a smaller SMT-based mono version of this with CV controls. I'm not so happy about how wide this module is, and being a Eurorack module, having CV would have been really nice. I'll still release all of my files for this through-hole version though. You can see more of my work on my website at benjaomodular.com. I also post a lot of updates about my workshop and builds on Instagram and Facebook. Make sure to follow me there if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.